So the, the big question that we let were left with yesterday, we analyzed the second part of the shooting, which again, we just saw the map. So it's really one big shooting, but I'm still going to call it the second part of this thing. When we were discussing that, it was pretty clear that that seemed to be just, you know, bona fide self-defense, not even something that you could really question because there were other people who were actually swinging and hitting at him. And, and you know, it, it did look like he was under duress. It looked like he was under a threat. So if that is the situation, what we were really concerned about was, OK, the second part of the case is all dealt with. We have pretty good evidence that that's pretty, it's pretty clear that it looks like self-defense to us. The second part of the equation, or which is really the first part, is what happened during the first shooting. Who shot first? Why was he, he, you know, he firing his weapon? Was he being chased by somebody? Was he provoking somebody? What was this interaction that was taking place? And because we didn't really have anything to analyze at that point, just a grainy video and somebody who got shot in a body on the ground, that was kind of an open question. But we, we, we still you know, reached the conclusion based on what we had at the time. But fortunately, now we have some new evidence. So this a lot of this video comes from the New York Times. It's, it's from somebody else who recorded the video. But the New York Times actually broke it up. And so they circled some key bits and pieces that we're going to dive into. They circled where our attention should be, which was great. But I'm sort of piggybacking and adding on top of that. So I downloaded the videos, made some recordings of the videos, and then put them into uh, some software that we use for video production here called uh, Adobe Premiere. And what you see here, this is the actual video footage. And this is the audio profile that matches the video. So as we scrub through this, as we roll around it within this, we're going to see that we can hear a lot of what is, is exactly what we're seeing. And if you look on this little box down here at the bottom right, which is where my uh, current face is. So let me go ahead and move that. Uh, you're going to you're going to be able to see that this is something where you can actually see the audio spikes. So let me move that out of the way and we're going to see these spikes as we start scrubbing through this. So when you zoom in, you're going to hear that these big spikes are these pops. So as we scrub to the left and the audio is going to be loud, you just you have to have to deal with it. We're listening to gunshots. But this is the this is the part here where you can see the the red kind of spike up. So there it is. Those are gunshots. So let's listen to it quickly first and watch what the New York Times is doing to show us their, where we, sh we should be focusing our attention. So very briefly, you're going to see, boom, see the handgun muzzle flash. So what they do, and then you hear the audio. So what they're doing is when we back up, they're going to, sh to show you where it is. Now watch this spike down here. Let's, let's zoom in so we can see these spikes very clearly. And you're going to see that the, the, the sound of the gunshot starts right here. You can see that spike. Okay, so this, the gunshot is tied to the to the to, to this right here. It starts here. They pause the sound so that they can put this animation in, and then the gunshot picks right up. So to me, that looks absolutely like a gunshot. Now we didn't see that or hear that because uh, you know the video was so fast and we just didn't catch it at the time. But this looks like it was a gunshot. Now this is not Kyle. Kyle is over here. Kyle is right here and somebody behind him is actually firing a gun up in the air. So boom, you pause it. Now listen to the gunshot. There it is. So you can see right as that pop happens, the hand is kind of coming down. Okay, the pop is happening right there, boom. And that is the muzzle flash. So that certainly looks like a, like a gun to me. I mean, there's somebody is firing first based on this clip. Now we don't know what you know what happened before this clip over in this area you know where this picks up this is this is where it picks up we don't know if there were you know other shots being fired prematurely but this is kyle and as the video goes through they're going to show you the muzzle flash you're gonna hear the pop. there it is there's gonna be a, that man who's chasing rittenhouse who's, who's ultimately shot and killed he's chasing rittenhouse who's going this direction and let's hear for listen for the other gunshots so they're pausing to show you Rittenhouse again. Now get prepared because these are going to be the gunshots. We're going to three, see three successive gunshots back to back. Watch. Okay, so you saw that. You saw these spikes. You heard them. Those are the gunshots. So when we are now focused on the gunshots, the theory is we want to see, are there, is there any indication that those spikes over here, those gunshots, are those coming from Rittenhouse? 
where are those coming from? People are running away. Are we seeing any other muzzle flashes from him or his direction? We're, we're just not. I'm not seeing anything in this general area. So pop, pop, pop. So it's, it's, it's actually hard to see where that comes from. Then we're going to see some more pops. And let's see if we can pinpoint where this stuff is coming from. And we really just can't. Okay, now he's over here at that point in time. So presumably those shots were... Yeah, so something's happening back here. That man is obviously down now. So some of those shots were written houses. It's hard, it's hard to really to determine whether it's all sort of six of them or whether it's this first batch or the second batch. I think it is all six of those. I think those were all coming from his his firearm, but the video just doesn't show us much. We're sort of just presuming that that's happening. You know, what we're hoping for is for something to match this first example, right? Where we can see a flash and we can match the flash to the noise. So we can say, okay, that is coming from somebody else that is firing you know, up into the air. But the Rittenhouse, it, we just don't see the same evidence. Doesn't mean he didn't shoot. It you know, doesn't mean that those are not his, uh, his, his bullets being fired. Just so see it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, so we got seven shots there. You can see them, they match the spikes. And we just can't, we just can't see. It. Now we know that he shot uh, the, I think is Rosenbaum is, is his name, and he you know he was shot and killed. And the rest of the video will uh, you know follow up. It kind of zooms in, and it's it's uh, it's not good. Obviously, anytime you're watching something like that, it's it's gruesome. It's terrible for the person. It's terrible for their family. So we're not going to spend a lot of time on it. Now we don't see any other gunshots. We don't hear them throughout the rest of this. So they're going to show that Rittenhouse comes back around, and then he runs he, he runs off. Now this is where he's running. So if you remember, this is in the parking lot where, uh, what did I do with the map? There it is. So this is in the parking lot down here. And so at this point in time, Rittenhouse is really standing in this direction right here. This is when he takes off going northbound and, uh, and then he gets sort of intercepted by the other people. Now this is, he takes off going, he runs off, great.